hello welcome back to another outfits of the week so i'm already halfway done with my work day but i looked in the mirror and i was like wait this outfit is very cute and you need to document it so might as well start another outfits of the week right i dropped off the remaining style bundles that i needed to finish up at the end of, by the end of this week i'm about to start on the rest of them and film this thrift haul for a vlog it's so much good stuff so i recently thrifted this little mesh Express top. It's from the 2000s from the brand Express. I love the muted green color that it is and I love that it's meshed all the way around and then it's this three quarter length sleeve. I know it's fall and a lot of y'all are like, how are you wearing that? Well, right today it's like 75, 78 degrees here, but in a couple days it'll probably be 30 degrees. It's crazy like that. So today it's kind of on the warmer side. So I just have on this uh, camouflage little uh, sports bra up underneath it. And then I have my hair up in a claw clip, very messy. And then for makeup, all I have is just my little nude lip liner on. And then I have on these thrifted little soft yoga pants style pants with the folded little waistband. They're low waisted and they have these little cinching ties on the side. And then they are just so super wide legged. I love these so much. They're a vintage brand. I think it's by Tracy Evans, I wanna say. Love these pants so much. The other day I thrifted these green little flat shoes. They're 100% leather. They're kind of ugly, but also very cute. I love them. I'm gonna put some comfy insoles in them and they'll be perfect. So I love the two greens together. This thrifted bag has been my go-to everyday bag. It has three compartments, two openings right here that you can clasp together and then a zipper pocket in the middle. And I can have my keys right here on the side. And it's perfect, it fits right under the shoulder so well. And it's just my, been my go-to. It goes with so, so much. It's a perfect little casual bag. I just have my bangles on, this simple cross necklace, and then my wedding ring and a little skull ring. I'm going to pair these sunglasses with this look too while I'm out, if I go back out. for tomorrow's outfit. So today is another work from home day. In about an hour, I have to go on a video meeting with someone for whatnot, so that's exciting. So I'm just getting prepared for my day while I'm waiting for that. I put together this outfit, it's super quick. It's so comfortable. It's still on the more warmer side of fall here, like in the 60s and 70s type vibe. So I just have this little long cardigan that I can remove later on if I need to. And the base of this outfit is actually this camouflage thermal tank dress. I just have a baggy vintage t-shirt layered over it. So here is how it looks. And it's just a tank top. So it's such a good option for like summer and spring to wear by itself. And then it's a great layering piece to do tights or, you know, other layers on top of it as well. I love little basics like this. And then the green in the shirt ties in the green with the camo. And then the purple up here and in her hair and the outlines and everything goes with the purple in the cardigan. And this is a vintage Osborne's TV show t-shirt and it has Sharon on it. It's one of my fave personals. And then I am just absolutely living for this cardigan. I thrifted it a few thrift trips ago. I'm in love. I might have to keep it for a while, to be honest, now that I've put it on. It was in my cell inventory, but look at it. I don't know if I can give it up just yet. And then I just have on some knee-high black cotton socks, a good staple to have in your closet for the fall time. Good for layering. And then my platform boots, a good staple. You know I'm always wearing these. And then this is my last day of dirty hair. I'm about to tone my hair later tonight when I'm done with all of my stuff. This is my new favorite way of wearing dirty, a few day old hair is just putting it super messy up in a claw clip. I had someone on TikTok ask me to do a tutorial for it, so I'll probably do a mini little tutorial for this soon. Really all I do is grab my hair when it's down and just start clipping it into place until I like the way it looks, start pulling pieces out. I pull my shorter layers out and then I pull two back pieces out right here and I either just have them laying down, but today I decided to do little mini braids. They're like little rat tails. I think it looks really cute. I'm, I'm like living for this look today. And then for my makeup, I just have on a nude lip liner. Nothing else today. 
I'm telling you, if I just have my lips done, I'm pretty good to go on makeup. And then my go-to everyday bag lately has been this thrifted bag. I just love this bag so much. It goes with everything. It's a good black leather, and it's got this muted silver on the side, so it just really goes with so much. It ties in all the black elements together. Today I'm slam packed with, I have a what not show and I'm doing my first pre-made bundle show. And then after I finish that up, I need to finish up the style bundles that I already have sold after the second round. And then I need to edit my style bundles YouTube video that I need to put up and then do a little bit more like short form content editing for like my bundles, like to promote it on IG and TikTok and stuff like that. So that's for today's outfit. And then I think I have to run out of the house for a couple of minutes. So, you know, why not get super cute for that? And lately I've just been getting really cute just to sit at home anyway, because I'm a content creator and a personal stylist. So I need to let people know I know how to dress. You know what I mean? So let's start out with simple makeup. I don't have anything on except for lips today. I just have on a pinky glossy nude lip. And then my hair is up and this super messy claw clip situation up to, I don't even know what to call it because it's nothing but short of a mess. And then I have these cute little gummy, like super huge clips that like correlate with the colors of the outfit. And then for the necklace, I just have this simple little satin bow around my neck as a little choker. I love that vibe lately. And I think it goes really good with the top colors because it's got this like black situation too and this top i guess just speaks for itself like this is like everything i've been looking for lately giving very like euro vibes i feel like all the girlies are into that lately but it's got peacocks and like peacock feathers this sacred heart like there's just really so much going on and i'm in love and then bangles that i've recently thrifted I'm in love with the bangles and then the colors just go with it. I have on this forest green utility skirt with the slits on the sides that I recently thrifted. It's got pockets and I love the green. The green goes with the green in the top that I have very, very well. So it goes perfect. And then I'll hold up the shoes at a better angle because you're probably not going to be able to see them that well right here, but I really want you to see the detail in these shoes. On these wedges that I recently thrifted and they're in this like really muted metallic coppery brown silver situation and I just absolutely love and I have them paired with my lilac -y, super light purple um, socks that have the lace trim and that color really goes with the like lilac and pink situation and my clip right here. And for my bag when I leave later I'm just going to be taking my everyday black leather bag Super slouchy bag, big bag. I'm loving a big bag lately. It's got those rounded studs on them and it ties in the black in the top and all the black details anywhere else. I'm just getting ready right now to go to a pop-up flea market that's at this restaurant and we know the people that are running the pop-up. So we just thought we'd get out and about. It's a very nice day outside today and we're gonna bring a little bag of like t-shirts that maybe we could trade out or see if someone wants to buy. That's kind of what we do when we go to markets and we're not bending. So for my makeup, I just have my everyday smoky eye and my brown nude-ish lip liner, like kind of buffed out into my lip. And then I just have no foundation on, which is a little bit of blush and face highlight on. I thrifted this nice lightweight long sleeve. I'm not sure on the brand of it. It almost looks like it could be low key like designer or something. Maybe not designer, but like European type vibes by the tag and just the way it feels. It's such nice quality. And it's got like these square, different colored squares all over it. And then I thought pairing this necklace with this more like uh, warm tone would go with the squares that are in the shirt instead of pairing just like a black or silver type of chain. I wanted to kind of spice it up and I just recently thrifted this 
with along with some other colored, like copper colored stuff. So I wanna play around with it. I think it goes really good with the shirt. I have on my everyday rings that I usually wear, my silver ones, plus I've added this like bubble 3D heart one that has like this little rosette in the middle of it. And then those like pinky red tones go with the pinky red square that's in the shirt. And then I also have on some maroon colored tights up underneath. So you can see that it's like this high to low asymmetrical pleated, really puffy skirt. And I just thought that little bit of that red like maroonish color poking out looks really good and it correlates with a little bit of red in here and in my ring. Then yeah, I don't know who this skirt is by because there's no tag in it. It could totally be homemade too. And I'm thinking about also like switching it around to where instead of it's high, instead of it being like high to low in the back, it could be like high to low asymmetrically like sideways. So I wanna try to style it like that if it ends up fitting like that. It's almost too big for me. So we'll see if it fits like that. For shoes, I just have on these half-calf little buckle moto boots. I think it goes really well. Just a simple, nice little boot with this, I think really works out. My second layer, because it's a little chilly outside, I'm gonna put this little lightweight jacket that I recently thrifted over it. And the good thing about this is it's not even like a full jacket. It's got this micro mesh and uh, fishnet on the sleeves. So it's very breathable too. It just gives a nice, light extra layer on top. So this is what it looks like unzipped. I think it looks so good with the outfit unzipped. And then here is what it looks like zipped. It's like a fully black stretchy back, high neck zip. And it's got the this like zipper detail in the pockets. So it looks like nipple tassels almost, but it's just a really cool layering piece that I wanted to play around with before it got way too cold to style something like this to be shown. Adding this red bangle and this yellow and black bangle because it ties in all the colors together as well. When it gets a little chillier, the sun goes down, I'm pairing this leather jacket that I recently thrifted over this. So I think this looks amazing together. I'm very comfortable. I've got a lot of light layers going on. The bag that I'm pairing it with is just my everyday go-to bag that I've been using lately. The brand of this one just says Carlos on it. I'm not sure where it's from or who it's by, who that is because I thrifted it. But if you want to look it up, it just says Carlos on the tag. It's one of my favorite bags I've ever thrifted. So I'm at the end of my day right now. It's about six o'clock p.m. now. Me and Robbie are getting ready to go to the bowling alley with a few friends and grab some dinner. So this was my daytime outfit. I'm gonna get into my nighttime outfit when I'm wearing to the bowling alley, but this is what I wore thrifting today. I'm running some errands. So I have that corduroy two-tone jacket that you saw for my last um, outfits of the week, I'm pretty sure. I love this as a light layer for the fall and winter time. It's a very good transitional season jacket. And then I have this like, Euro printed top. It says Seoul, I think right here. And yeah, Seoul City down here. It's a really cool city print. And then there's something on the back I'll show you too. But I have these pinstripe flared pants on. And then I just have on my platform Crocs because they're my most com comfortable shoe to go thrifting in. And then my everyday bag I've been wearing lately that is thrifted. For makeup, I only have just a like nude-ish lip liner on. And then I have this really cute pendant that I recently thrifted with this little cutout hole on the heart. Here is the back of that shirt. It's really cool. I'm not sure where it's from. I have to do a little bit more research on it if I can get any info on it. I'll try to let you know. But yeah, it'll be for sale soon. I just wanted to style it one time before I sold it. It's so cool. Let me go ahead and transition into my date night going out outfit. So this is the bowling outfit. I'm being pretty bold because it is like in the 40s right now, but I'm gonna put my leather jacket on while we're outside transitioning into the venue. You know what I mean? So this is the outfit I have on these just medium washed flare jeans with my DKNY metallic heels. Love pairing these. And then I have on this is a strapless shirt, but since I'm not gonna be taking this little jacket off, I still have this little bra on because 
I'm not trying to have the nips out too much since it's so cold. So I don't need a necklace because this little middle part right here has this like slinky silver situation. Love it. And then of course I just have on again, just my nude lip. I just really like the basic makeup going on today, especially when I have my hair up like this. I think it looks really good, even just a basic lip. So yeah, I just have my messy little claw clip happening with my layers down and then I just braided this part right here because it was a little chunky on this side. So I decided to break it up with that braid. And then again, with this little jacket I wore the other day, I'm gonna have it zipped up until we get into like bowling and everything and I want to feel a little looser. So this is how it looks unzipped. I think it goes so good with this, to be honest. Here's the back of it. I love the sleeves of this. So here's how it looks zipped. I have it like zipped up about right here. It's a nice little high neck and it's just nice and sleek and black and goes with the long little tank top going out top. I can't wait to style this in so many more ways. I love these two tops together though. So here's the leather jacket that I'm pairing over it while we're going to go grab a bite to eat first, I think. And you know, while I'm walking outside until we get inside, I think it goes really good. It's a nice little staple to have in the wardrobe. It's a nice little like bomber style. It has like little grommet holes right here. And then I thrifted this bag to put in my inventory for style bundles and stuff. But until then, I'm just gonna take it out. How cute is that? It's like basket woven and then has the gingham print with that cute little uh, silver star. It goes with all the silver details in the outfit. It's a nice little shoulder bag to take going out. Good morning. So today we're just doing a full reset day and Aaron's day. We're about to head out to the grocery store. So let me just break down the fit for you before I leave. Kind of in a hurry. I'm trying to get stuff done a lot today. So I'm doing very comfy vibes today. I just recently thrifted these Juicy Couture uh, track pants. I love the like uh, very muted gray olive color that's going on shirt that i found at my parents house that used to be mine when i was a teenager and it's this shrek 2 puss in boots little baby tee i got this at hot topic back in the day it's from 2004 can't believe that's like 20 years already crazy and then paired with it these pants are so dang long and flared that really the only thing that i can wear with it is my platform crocs until I can figure out some other shoes that go with it. And I'm just super comfy vibes anyway today. So it goes and the black goes with the shirt. And then for makeup, all I have on is a lip liner. I think the shade is Chicory by MAC. It's one of my favorite, more nude, burnt red colors. And it goes along with the red in the shirt too. And then I just have my hair up in a claw clip because it's gonna be a wash day tonight. And then I just have on some bangles and then my wedding ring. I recently thrifted this cool jacket with this hood detail and then it has this dragon embroidery on it. So I'm, so I'm gonna wear this as a light layer. It's not too cold outside. It's still in the 60s and 70s. Like the past few days, it's been pretty chilly, like getting down to the 40s, sometimes even the 30s. And then now today it's back to 60s and 70s. I'm telling you, that's why I can never like switch my closet over completely. I just have a bunch of my winter tubs just sitting out in my inventory room for my personal clothes too, because I just don't have, even have room in my closet yet. I need to get on that. And then I'm just taking my black everyday bag, my go-to bag that holds all my junk that I need. So this is a casual, very casual look. And then just pop on the big old sunglasses and you get the whole vibe, hopefully, that I'm going for. Just very comfy, don't really care, still wanna be kinda cute vibe.